You want them to be of a certain height. You have your race preference. You need a certain amount of income to live. They have to be a certain amount of attractiveness. They have to have the right personality. And really all they give a fuck about, what do you look like and how are you going to make my life easier? So at the end of the day, if women really only have two things to check off and men have like 30, they have to meet more requirements. So they have to do more work. Therefore, they have they're to more change valuable. more. Exactly. They have to do more just to catch your eye. So they are more the prize than the woman ever will be because the woman has to do less to even grab their you want attention them to be of a certain height you have your race preference you need a certain amount of income to live they have to be a certain amount of attractiveness they have to have the right personality and really all they give a f about what do you look like and how are you gonna make my life easier so at the end of the day if women really only have two things to check off and men have like 30 they have to meet more requirements so they have to do more work therefore they have they're to more change valuable more. Exactly. they have to do more just to catch your eye so they are more the prize than the woman ever will be because the woman has to do less to even grab their attention in the first this is the book of isaiah chapter 13 verse 12 i will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man than the golden wedge of ophir double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of great millstone who rule well salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways salutations to the hopeful elect salutations to you speckled birds you israelite foreigners and shalom to the akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so isaiah 13 verse 12 i will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And that is being reestablished in the earth right now, man. And furthermore, the, the actual men that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is stating in this, in this precept is the men of Israel. And furthermore, the elect, okay, the predestinated, the house of Dawada, okay? Those are the men that, you know, you women are going to be seeking after when all hell breaks loose. Those are the men that are speaking against society, speaking against this wicked, evil, cor corrupted rulership, man. Okay, those are the men that have, you know, a, a righteousness, understand the will and the guidelines of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and despise, okay, the uh, foundation, the structure, the uh, 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 the the uh, the format, everything about this place, man. You know, those are the real men that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to make more precious than fine gold, man. Okay, and you women, not not only just now, but in the kingdom, you'll realize that the man is the prize, and that uh, you know you'll you'll accept your position that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given you, man. Okay, but this is mainly talking about the men of Israel, and furthermore, right now the elect, and, and also only. You so-called black, Hispanics, Native and Simdo Indians, man. That's who he's good. That's who he's gonna make more precious, man. Matter of fact, let's grab another precept. This is gonna be a quick hit. This ain't gonna be too long. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna get straight to the point, man. Okay? Because the Lord is a is a racist, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a racist. Okay? And y'all gonna find out the hard way. Because the Lord don't love everybody. So this is the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvel, marvelous light. And that's what's happening right now, too. You know, the, the we have been put asleep for 500 years thinking that we were black, thinking that we were Hispanic, thinking that we were Native American, Seminole Indians, all types of madness, man, okay? Thinking that we were colors, thinking that we were a uh, uh, property of Spain, wood and stone, rich port, et cetera, man, okay? We were taught that the women were supposed to be put on the pedestal. We were taught that, uh, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you, your family, line, uh, if your family pedigree starts with your mother, we were taught all these lies, all these deceits, and being cast in the utter darkness, first and foremost by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but he used you devils to do it, man. Okay, and now, as you see right now, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is elevating, okay, and activating and, and uh, uh, strengthening his men, okay? He is actually showing you heathens, you two third niggas, you, you two third bad bitches, and you other, you know, filthy ass, 
you know, despicable heathens that's, that's on the earth right now. He is showing you what real men are, man. Okay, he is showing you what real men are. But what do y'all do? Y'all despise it. Y'all mock. Y'all scoff. Y'all make jokes. You make videos, you know, uh, uh, acting like you making fun, making skits and all types of shit, man. Okay, but in the, again, in the very near future, when all hell breaks loose and you see Pookie and Ray Ray, Chad and Tyrone's, these fake thugs, these inseminate, sassy niggas, as y'all say, start getting gunned down, put to death, sent overseas to go to war. You're going to see the men of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, comfortable, worry free, walking around, eating, being protected, not touched. Then you're going to regret your ways. You're going to regret what you said, man. Okay? Because the Lord is literally, literally, you know, polishing, cleansing, purifying his men. You know, and we're shining amongst the, amongst the masses and the evildoers and the wicked of our people and you heathens, man. Okay? Everybody looks at us as a, uh, uh, like it's a, a, a foreign object, like we're foreign to them, man, because you know what? We are. As Yahweh Shah Hamashiach said, I am from above and ye are from beneath, man. Okay, so with us coming back and being awoken to our power and to our heritage, man, we have a different spirit than everybody else, man. And, 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 and everybody just can't figure it out, man. They're amazed at, you know, the intelligence, the way we conduct ourselves, how we go about things and, and, and how we have so much enlightenment to what's happening, man. Okay. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. And I'm going to start off at verse four. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is there a hope full of immortality. And we have been chastised. You know, we have gone through hell. We have been reproved, rebuked, and we continue to be reproved and rebuked among society, man. And furthermore, that shows forth, thus saith the scriptures, that the Lord loves us, man. Because we, we come back, we repent daily. We, we send up supplications. We, bre we beg and add. It's like an ask and plead for mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. While amongst showing forth our efforts with uh, 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 actions and not just lip service. You know, taking heed to, you know, attempting to keep the commandments to the best of our ability. Being as obedient as we can. So with the Lord putting us through these hell, through, through these uh, uh, trials and tribulations, through hell, living this nightmare, we're being cleansed, we're being purified. That old nigga, that old woman, the all that leaven that that's that's not necessary is being purged up off of us, man. Our spirit, our mental, is being cleansed every single day. Verse five, and have and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. And that's what Yahweh Shem Yahweh is doing right now, man. He's proving his men right before your eyes, man. Okay, and, and, and when you come into this truth, you learn how to become a man. You learn how to, how to you know, go about things correctly in righteousness. And also, too, not to think with your own thoughts, but with the, with the uh, manifest and, and the blueprint that the Lord has given us, man. Okay, because we lean on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, as it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20 on down, I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, we don't lean on Esau, we lean on the Lord, man. That's our stronghold. That's our defense. That's our everything. Again, that's our stronghold. That's our defense. That's our everything. Okay. So you're going to realize that the, that the man is the prize and you're going to see it before your eyes. Verse six, as gold in the furnace, have he tried them again? Trials, tribulation, being chastised, being reproved, being rebuked, going through hell. And the Lord said he, he, he will not put us through anything that we cannot handle, that we cannot endure, that, that we cannot bear. And we only bear it because Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai gives us the strength to bear it. Amen. It's marvelous, man, to be awoken and to know, you know, the correct way, man. As gold in the, in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Everybody's a stubble when it comes to the elect, man. 
which we hope and pray to be. And do you think that shine is just going to start, you know, in the kingdom or when hell breaks loose? No, that shine is starting right now. Again, it's a different, it's a different vibration, a different spirit, a different glow upon our faces, upon our skin, upon our spirit, man. It's a prelude to this right here. I'm gonna read this again. This is a prelude right right now happening to this again because when we get those those real uh, heavenly bodies, man, you're, you're gonna see it more and more. It's gonna be uh, uh, known, okay? Wisdom of Solomon, verse three, verse seven. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Okay. So that glow has been activated now, but it's going to be fully activated once we get those new bodies, man. Which we're already shining amongst all the stubble, the stubble right now, because two thirds of our people and you heathens, you're the stubble, man. We're already amongst the stubble. I don't want to rock this out. We are those men. Okay? We're already amongst the stubble, man. And that, that shine is being prepped, okay? Just like we're rehearsing our, our, our positions, Lord willing, okay? We, we must stay humble and stay sincere, Lord willing. Just like we're rehearsing our positions in the kingdom to come, we're also being polished and, you know, given a, a, a certain spark right now. But again, in, in the very, very near future to come, it's going to be activated. We're going to be on fire. We're going to be shining. We're going to be glowing. You're going to realize and regret everything that you did, everything that you said. All right. Let's read this. Because this is what Yahweh Shah told us, man. This is and again, because this is this, this, this the back of what I've been speaking. This is what we have been doing, man. Okay. That that spark that that shine doesn't just start, you know, when all hell breaks loose or in the kingdom. Ah, it starts now. This is the book of Saint Matthew's, chapter five, verse four. Ye are the light of the world, Salakia. Verse, verse uh, sixteen, Saint Matthew's five, verse sixteen. Let your light so shine before men, that ye Salakia, that they may see your good works. And glorify your father, which is in heaven. And we let our light shine, man. Okay? And with us reading these words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that light has been activated. It, 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 it speaks volume. It speaks, you know, uh 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 uh, uh it's, it's like it's beneficial to us to speak these words because this is what makes us glow. Okay, and furthermore, again, as she said, man, the man is the, the man is the uh the uh, the prize. And furthermore, the Israelite man is the prize. Let's jump up to verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Who is the salt of the earth? The Moab, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Ishmaelites, the Hamites? Fuck no. Fuck no. You nasty, disgusting, abominable, filthy ass heathens. No. Yahweh Shah was talking about his, his, kid, his, his kinsmen, his brethren, the Israelites. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior... Okay, and that's Yahweh why Yahweh shy, but we have coming back to that. So we are gaining, Lord willing, that we are part of those first fruits. We're gaining back our saviors, man. Our our father. Our 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 uh our um God man, the words we always be on the tip of my tongue, but I can't get to say it out. Our um our big brother, our king, our Messiah that 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 sacrifice that sacrificed himself for us to be grafted back in. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It, it is henceforth good for nothing. And that's two thirds of our people. You're good for fucking nothing. You're born in vain. But the prophets, the one that the Lord has awoken up and the ones that the Lord is going to save out of this hell hole. I don't want right to die, That's us. Again, humility is good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot. But that doesn't apply for the elect, man. Because the, the elect is the salt of the earth. The elect is going to keep continuously speak these words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And just like the Lord is prepping us now, hey man, let's just let the Bible speak. Let's close out here. You're going to realize that the man is the prize. You're going to realize that the Israelite man has always been the prize. And you're going to be yearning, begging, pleading just to be in the presence, in the sight, just to have an Israelite man look at your funky ass in, in, in the kingdom. 
Okay, and not even in the kingdom, especially in Jacob's trouble. All right. Because even 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 at this lower state and us being poor and us being oppressed, we still be having access to you other women, you heathen women and everything else, man. All right. But this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter three, verse 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. OK. And again, it's, it's a process that's already occurring, already, uh, 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 already uh, happening. OK, that's already being uh, brought forth. All right. The Lord does everything in, in, in a certain motion, man, as, as we see and as we know. It's already being applied. Why do you think you got fucking people talking about, you know, the, the stuff going over in the Holy Land? But but yet but yet they saying the real problem is the so-called black men in America. Because they know they, they fucked up and they know what's about to happen. The Lord's about to bring that vengeance. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And that's us, man. That's the Israelites, man. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they had been put to shame. So they mock us. They scoff us, you know, make these cartoons, blackface, all types of madness, man. Car uh, 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 you know, TV shows. You know, coon ass niggas and, and movies and stuff, all types of stuff, man. All types of stuff. You got the uh, these uh, old Roman, you know, Jake police coming back to be police. You know, showing off for the white cops. They they the worst ones, man. Showing off for the white cops, all that. Hey, man, look, man. That's gonna be non-existent, man. as the Lord said. I will get them praise and fame in every land. And again, that is happening now, but it's gonna be amplified. It's gonna be multiplied. It's going to be uh, 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 intense. It's going to intensely increase. It's going to elevate in the very near future, man. I will get them praise and fame. And, and guess what? Even in this lower state, being poor and going through hell, Jake already has fame. But it's not the, it's not the type of fame that the Lord wants you to have, man. The type of fame that you have is, 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 is according to Esau. Okay. But I'm going to leave it right there, man. I don't want to eye. I hope and I pray that this was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true, sincere Akim Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Kol Holeyam La, Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwidash, Watha Wada, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwidash, for putting the spirit on me. My elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you and uplift, uplift you to the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Rataza until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say Shalom.